Hello again, everyone. I'm Erica Pitsy for jackcotton.com, and I'm here with luxury real estate expert, author, and agent Jack Cotton himself. And we are on step three of our series, Seven Steps to Breaking into Luxury Real Estate. And you were talking about opening up the gates. Opening the gates, storming the gates, something with the gates. So let's talk about <laughs> that. Okay, first of all, wealthy people have gatekeepers. They don't want to talk to me until they know me. So if I want to talk to them typically, I have to go through their gatekeeper first. They also have service providers. You know, you can't get the you can't get the cell phone number of the CEO of a Fortune 500 corporation. Right. But if you go to the boatyard and talk to the guy who tunes radars, he's got it. Oh. So get to know their service providers as well. Groups and organizations. What groups and organizations do they belong to? Typically, conservation groups, art groups, charitable groups. This is you can you know interact with these organizations and get to meet them as well. Do some digging. Do some digging, do some more networking. So attorneys, um, or gatekeepers we want to talk about are attorneys, especially ones who specialize in estate planning and trusts wow. and estates because they need, for their wealthy clients, they need yearly valuations of their client's real estate. And it's really kind of a pain to get an appraisal every year, so why not just call me, I'll do it for you. And when I do it for the attorney, I make the attorney look like a hero to their rich client. And they need these every year because they're obsessed with not paying inheritance taxes and minimizing their property taxes. So they put their properties, their expensive homes, into entities like trusts and sometimes corporations. And every year they need an evaluation for the file. You can provide those for people. You can provide them for CPAs who deal with wealthy people. You can talk to trust officers at banks. They all need these for their clients every year. And after several years of doing this, it's your name that's in front of the client all the time when it's time to sell the house, which it often is because they put it into a trust to avoid the state taxes when they pass on. So it's probably not too far away before that happens. Mm -hmm. So marketing to these people, also investment advisors. These are key people to get you in the door if you can't make it directly to the wealthy people in your marketplace. All right, there you go. And that's step three. Storm the gates. Storm the gates. All right, we got step four coming up next week. We'll be talking about the process. Process. The luxury process. Kind of a process for everything. Everything. Have a plan. All right, and we've got much more advice from our luxury real estate expert at luxuryrealestateunplugged.com.